Hello YouTube. Today it's about the Glock 19X. This beautiful gun. I bought two of them. I thought these are awesome guns. I tried one out. They had one as a range gun. I went and shot it first just to make sure. I would be happy with it. I loved it. So I thought, hmm, okay, let's go get a couple. So I bought two of them. Right away I got it home. Took off that crummy lantern there. Um, I had my Dremel out. was going to whack that off, but nah, I'm still thinking about that. I'm not quite sure if I want to cut that off or not. I can and still make it look nice, but I'm uh, not quite sure because... Um, it's still not going to make a difference on the perch or not. I'm still going to have that little lip there. Um, but this gun just shoots beautifully. And uh, I put the the medium back strap on. Now some people, when they get these, they say, well, they're not marked inside. Well, they're not marked inside. They're marked on the bottom. So if you want the medium, this has an M on it. I don't know. My camera won't focus on it worth the crap but it does have an M which means medium so there's something for you to know they're not on the back of the they're on the bottom um, there's some information for you and you can tell the difference between the medium and the the large but anyways I put that on it's just like my 1911 fits just in there beautiful um, and of course I didn't have to worry about slide bite anyways but that just gives you a better perch on the gun when you're shooting it you know cuts down on the on the but 19s to me it's like shooting my 22 um, because I've been a 45 guy uh, uh, for years I grew up on 1911 my dad's had them I shot them I grew up on a 45 so of course you know I'm gonna have a 36 um, and it's a newer 36 when they when they came out with I wanted one with a rail um, not that I put anything on it I just thought it was cool I had one without um, that gun ran like a freaking clock too because uh, it's a Glock and so I thought I'd get a newer one and of course this thing is just it's like my other one just cool yeah it's only six with one in a pipe carry another mag that's what I do and practice mag changes got the extended grip on there uh, or extended mag finger whatever you want to call it um, and uh, it works really great I've carried this gun for a long time um, it's just awesome I love this gun a lot of people don't like them because of the low capacity but I think that's overrated I think the capacity is overrated uh, seven rounds of 45 oh boy you know, that's going to wake you up. And I'm a civilian. Uh, could seal carry civilian. I don't need, you know, what, like with the 19, 19, 20, 19 rounds, you know. It's got 17 right here with the with the mag. That's way too much, I think, anyways. I'm not going to war, you know. I'm thinking 12, 10, you know, 10 with one in the pipe, three extension with the turn tactical on my 43, 10. Perfect. If I think I need another mag, I always carry one extra in case you have a mag failure. You know, that's always possible that you have a mag failure. But once again, you go to the range and you run your guns. You run them with what you're going to carry. And then you know that you're secure with it. And I've got, or I have, I'm sorry. I have, um, you know, Terran Tactical um, Extension. This is a three, and I've got two mags with the, a two. So if I'm out there, I have my mag pouch, I'll have this, and then I'll, of course I'll have different mag with me because, you know, everything mechanical can fail. I don't care what you have. Um, and, of course, I always bring in <clears throat> uh, my Gen 3 19. I, I just love this gun. A lot of people don't, I don't like the finger grooves. Da, da, da. It doesn't matter to me. It just doesn't matter to me. Okay, finger grooves, take it or leave it. There's one. Um, my Gen 2, I got... Um, my 23 Gen 2, um, nice gun, nice gun. Um, you know, run it all the time. So I just wanted to show you what uh, what I carry for what I've got in my carry collection for 
uh, the next I do six months at a time with these guns I'll do four guns and I do six months um, you know I can go like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday you know or Friday or Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday it don't matter so I change it up and that's a good thing to do change it up and when you're when you're changing up you got to make sure you're efficient with the gun so I go to the range once, twice a week. I reload, so it's not a big thing for me. Um, but what I found is, like everybody has, it's a box full of holsters until you find that right one, okay? Now, I found the right one for me. This isn't going to be for everyone. This is for me. I've got Kydex. They're over there on the table. You can see them um, that I use. But I found that... And they're they're comfortable too. The Kydex work, but I just wanted to show you guys this. My holster 2.0. It's a just a well-made holster. I mean, um, for 20 bucks on the net. And what I did, of course, you got to break in leather. It's just like a baseball mitt. You got to break it in. So when I got this, I took my 21. And that's my 45 full size duty gun as they call it and I stuffed it in here and I let it set for a day and then I'd pull it out put it in pull it out put it in and I let it set for another day then of course it fits all my guns beautifully holds them in there don't have to worry about it popping out or anything and I carry about uh, 2 30 3 o'clock on my usually about 2 30 you know, not quite appendix, but just around the hip. And uh, I have no problem. I can carry this gun with no problem. I don't have anything, you know, sticking out. Of course, I do a t-shirt, then a button-up. And uh, I can carry anything. I can carry my 21. I mean, I can carry a full-size gun. I've carried my 17. It's not out here, but I got a 17 Gen 3, of course. And I carry that, too. But since I've got this 19X, um, like I said, I got two of them. This gun is beautiful. I cannot see any negative about this gun. A lot of people are out there cutting it down and chopping it up. And uh, sorry, I have nothing negative to say about this gun. Um, bought 500 rounds of mixed and ran it all through it the first day I got it ran like a top never had any issues with it i mean this gun and the marksman barrel um some people say ah they can't tell the difference da 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 i can tell the difference i can you know why because i shoot shooters will, t will, will be able to tell the difference if you can't then you're not a shooter okay i can tell the difference between shooting this gun and shooting this 19 okay you're talking about 95% um, Gen 5 gun here. You know, I mean, it's pretty much one, their newer gun. Um, I just think that these are all quality carry guns. If you want your, you know, if you're not a pussy, um, 45s all day long. My 30S, I love this gun. It's a rocket ship. I mean, you're cornered somewhere and someone's going to try to take your gold from you. This comes out, the first thing's going to happen is going to light up. It's just going to shoot fire out of the barrel at you. I mean, it's just badass. Just a badass gun. I recommend the 30S to those that can handle it. I recommend 36 for those who don't have a round count. Okay. Um, like anything else, always carry an extra mag. Mag failures are there. People get too comfort. I mean, they get too compliance with themselves, and they, they're like, ah, six and one is good enough. Um, yeah, it is good enough. But if your mag fails, you got to be able to slap another one in there. Um, you know, this is, this is your life or your family you're talking about. So don't lose compliance with not having another mag okay because in this day and age of just people being stupid 
you you need your protection. Um, God forbid I ever have to pull out my gun, except for the range, um, you know, and training. You know, when you're going through the training ranges and stuff, you know, uh, in and out of your holsters, cool, you know, that's good. And for those of you who don't train, get out there, start training. Get yourself a laser, start training with your laser, and make sure that your mags aren't full, keep them away from your guns. A lot of people get, uh, they get lazy. And that's how they shoot themselves. Um, so don't get lazy. Okay? Um, I just thought I'd show you guys what I do carry for now. You know, this is my next few months. It might be six months that I'll carry these guns, all of them. And then I'll break out my other ones and I'll mix it all up again. And don't forget, make sure you shoot all your guns. So you know when you got your 9mm, is there easy shooting for me? I mean, there's nothing easier than a nine right here. That's why I got three with it because I love the way it feels. But I want the bulldog. I want the slow, fat, but effective at, you know, 20 yards, seven yards, whatever. You're going to be effective with this gun. This gun is definitely going to blast. And I won't have to worry about uh, what's behind that with this gun. Um, you know, people, they carry their 357 SIGs, and I have one, and I do carry it. That'll be in my next rotation, will be that gun. But for now, I like my 39s and my 245s. Um, I can't say enough about my Gen 3s. Um, they're just beautiful. You can see I take care of my guns. Um, it's not like I worry about a scratch or I worry about a ding or something like that, because I don't. I don't worry about any of that. I just use my guns, I wipe them down, I clean them and take care of them. Okay? So that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I just wanted to let you know that all the negative out there on this gun is um, it's personal preference. I mean, some people are going to like this video because I'm telling you this gun is awesome. I recommend it. I mean, even if you use it for a range gun, um, you know, if you're an officer and uh, they'll let you carry a duty, this this is a duty gun or a backup, do it. I mean, it, it just, it, in every way, you find the back strap that fits you, you put that on this gun, and, you know, it's just like the 1911 when you pull it up. I mean, it just, it just works. Uh, nice sights, look at that. You can see them glow right now. I mean, they're they're bright, they're awesome, they're like my 21, um, they never stop glowing. You know, you got a good 10 years plus on that. Um, and then of course the gold, the gold slide is cool. I mean, uh, I just think Glock got it right. I really do, that's my opinion of course, um, on this gun. Everybody will have their own opinion, they'll like it, they'll hate it. There's a lot of haters out there. But this little tab here. Um, I had my Dremel out, and I was about to cut that off, and, uh, and then something told me to just uh, hold off for a little bit. Don't cut that off yet, you know. Um, get rid of the lantern, because I'm not in the military. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, I'm going to carry it in a decent holster um, where it's not going to come out. You know, I'm not going to be running across country so it pops out. Um, it's going to do the job for me as a civilian in my pants, you know, in the waistband. It does a great job. I don't worry, you know, the weight, it doesn't bother me. Weight does not bother me. And I'm not big, but I'm husky, you know, I'm six foot, 200 pounds. I mean, I can conceal just about anything. I carry my 21 once in a while, more in the winter time. That's, I got to say, that's a big gun. You know, the 21, everyone, if you ever handled it, you know, I got the short frame too. Just like this is a short frame. It's got the SF on it for short frame. Um, it, it, it helps. I mean, especially for like right there, you know, see that big fat right there? If it started to work up, then a chance is for me to get slide bite, but never happens. My once it starts firing, it settles pretty much right there. Um, 
awesome gun. Recommend this for those that aren't pussies that can handle a forty five. I mean, I grew up with this gun, so it's nothing for me to shoot it. My 10 mil, I shoot, I think this gun has a little more bark than my 10 mil. My 10 mil, I shoot that gun beautifully too. I love my 29, I carry that gun too. That'll be in my rotation um, next time around. But for now, I just want to let you know that uh, the 19X is a beautiful gun. It's, uh, it's the one I'm carrying right at the moment. And uh, I'm carrying it with my 17 uh, round mag in here. Nothing's in the guns. They're all loaded, but there's nothing chambered. And, uh, you know, I really don't, I don't know. You're either strong or you're not. Um, you know, I don't really get freaked out about the weight. But that brings you to what you're carrying it in. Okay, you find the right holster for yourself. And you'll be golden. I found this holster works for all my guns, but I do have Kydex. They're over there on the table. See them? And I do run Kydex. They all have a holster. Um, I, this one will run with all these guns. Um, my holster, 2.0. 20 some bucks on the net. Well made, heavy duty. Um, you can get it black if you want. It's your choice. But just to let you know, 19x beautiful no issues love it shoot it carry it it'll do the job for you that's pretty much all i got folks i hope everyone has a good one and these are my carry guns